Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video I'm going to tell you what I eat in a day while doing shift work, specifically the morning shift. So when I'm doing the early shift I work from 5am until 1pm, so my day starts at 4.15am when my alarm goes off. And as I mentioned in my shift work tips, the night before I lay out absolutely everything that I need. So I get up, get dressed, do my makeup, fix my hair, pack my lunch, brush my teeth and I'm out the door before 10 to 5. I tend to arrive at work at 5 o'clock on the dot and the first thing I do is put my lunch in the fridge and then I make my first cup of many cups of tea. I also fill up my water bottle which I'll drink from throughout the morning. This is 2.2 litres so it's good for making sure that I'm drinking enough throughout the day. Then anywhere between 6.20 and 6.40 I tend to have my first meal of the day which today and most days is some fruit and some Greek yogurt. So I cut up a melon on Sunday and then I just put aside a portion of it last night and then added some yogurt this morning before I left for work. I used to have porridge or I would have a bigger meal first thing but I just found I was starving throughout the day. So with the fruit and yogurt I think it's enough to stop me from being too hungry and enough to enable me to work properly and to work effectively and then um, I get to have a proper breakfast when it's a bit quieter in the office. I don't get a chance to eat again until about 20 past nine, sometimes half nine, and by this time I am starving. So today I brought in two egg muffins with me, and this is from a recipe video that I posted last week, and then I paired those with half a tin of beans, and then with this I had some more water at my desk, and then I had another cup of tea. Surprisingly enough, I was hungry again after a few hours, so just before midday I had my lunch, which today was vegetarian tomato pasta. Again, the recipe to that is up on my channel and I'll pop a link down below. And I tend to have this meal quite a lot on the early shift as it's quite tasty and it's really easy to make in advance and to make in bulk. And then today was a gym day, so I had personal training at about quarter to two. Once again, I was starting to get a bit hungry before it, so I had a small banana just before I went in to help me through the gym session. And then after the gym, as the theme of the video so far suggests, I was once again starving. I tend to be quite hungry on gym days, so I started having a sort of a second lunch early dinner after training at around three, half three, and then I end up having something smaller just before bed. So today I wanted something quick and I wanted to be filling, so I weighed out about 70 grams of whole grain pasta and then I put that on to boil. Then I fried up three rashers, and these were full rashers, but I took the fat off to turn them into bacon medallions. And I actually might have had a fourth rasher, but I can't remember. Then I chopped up two spring onions and two tomatoes. I only have one pictured here because I realized it was quite measly, and I added in another. And then once the pasta was cooked, I mixed all that up, and I added in a tablespoon of this amazing pesto from the Happy Pear Twins in Greystones. So this is a vegan, vegetarian pesto, and you could use any red pesto, but this is just one that I find particularly tasty. Then I chopped up the bacon and I added that in, and then I also added a little bit of Greek yogurt to that, because I tend to add Greek yogurt to most things, and it made um, the sauce quite creamy. And then again, I had some more water with that. On gym days, I always crave something sweet in the hour or two after training. And no matter how much savory carbohydrates I have, it doesn't seem to satisfy my sweet tooth. So I tend to have a piece of fruit instead of having something like chocolate. So I grabbed this little tub of overpriced pineapple on the way home, which I had with a cup of tea. And full disclosure, this is actually my fourth cup of tea of the day. I had another one in work before I left. And then for my last meal of the day, I wanted something quite sweet and something quite desserty, but I didn't want the massive sugar spike and then subsequent sugar crash. So before I got into bed at seven o'clock, I made dark chocolate porridge. And for this, I weighed out 40 grams of porridge oats and then I added in enough milk over the top just to cover the oats. Then I put in half a teaspoon of Green and Black's cocoa powder and a full teaspoon of agave syrup. If the milk is quite cold, the cocoa powder doesn't often mix in, so I just popped in a little bit of boiling water and it helps mix it together. And then people of a nervous disposition should look away now. 
um, because of the ingredient I'm about to add. You can leave this out, There's, like if you want to make chocolate porridge, you don't need to put this ingredient in. But in order to add a bit more protein and to make the meal a bit more filling, I put an egg in the porridge. And you're probably thinking I'm mad, but if you think of like a mug cake or baked oatmeal, they all have eggs in them. This is pretty much the same, it's just a quicker version of it. So you just mix the egg in around and then throw it in the microwave for about one minute, stir it and then put it on for another 30 seconds. And if you don't like microwaves or you don't want to use them, you can use it on a, um, just use a pot on the hob. And to be honest, it actually probably tastes better. I just didn't want to clean up the pot. And then I added some Greek yogurt and some extra cocoa powder on top. And then I also wanted a warm drink to go along with this. So I made a decaf Nespresso coffee. And then I hopped into bed to watch some Netflix before it was time to put the lights out. And that's it, that is my full day of eating. And that's similar to what I would usually have on the early shift. Uh, if I'm not going to the gym, sometimes I will just have lunch and then I'll have a snack in the afternoon and I'll have my dinner later. But I find straight after the gym, I'm so hungry that it's just easier if I eat my dinner or sort of a big lunch then and then just have something like porridge or fruit or just like toast in the evening time. And as you can see, I'm quite the snacker. I And I tend to eat smaller meals, but more often, which I feel that really works when I'm working an early shift. It sort of keeps my energy levels sustained throughout the day and um, it stops me from overeating because if I was to eat just three meals, I would be ravenous in between and I'd start snacking all the time. So I find for me that eating smaller meals works on this particular shift. I'm also gonna do a video of my of what I eat on my evening shift and that you'll see that'll be slightly different. It's a little bit more of a conventional way of eating. But I suppose when you're working shift work, the best thing you can do is find what works for you. This works for me. Another few weeks, I'll do another what I eat in a day for the morning shift, but I'll take a non-gym day so you can see what I eat then. So that's it for this week's video. If you like what you see, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please click the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. And I'll be back with another video next Sunday. And don't be sniffing and coughing. You sniffed the last time in my video. Also, stop going around your clogs. Have we stopped? Okay.